this question will trigger a narcissistic collapse. A narcissistic collapse occurs when their ability to uphold their grandiose, confident image is threatened, which may result in them becoming enraged or withdrawn, because they feel as though they have received some form of criticism, rejection or failure. A narcissistic collapse could be triggered by a loss of validation, a failure or setback, relationship issues or exposure of their flaws. And there is a question you could ask the narcissist, which will cause a narcissistic collapse. It will threaten their grandiose, confident image, which will result in them becoming withdrawn or enraged. And this question is how does that benefit you? It shifts the balance of power in your favor because narcissists are never trying to give people anything. They will only invest their time and energy into something if they're going to get more than what they intend to give. which is why they will typically act like they don't need anything from anyone and they have never needed anyone for anything. Because otherwise, it would open the floodgates to everything that they have used people for. It would expose them as the parasites and con artists that they truly are. Because they're never trying to give anything to anyone. They're only looking to take from you. They will ruthlessly and forcefully take what they need, often under the guise of a position of power or authority, because they view people as their opposition, as something that needs to be overcome. They are savage, hungry predators. They ruthlessly exploit people for their own personal gain, so they are not interested in anything that is of a mutual benefit, because they have an arrested emotional development. They think in black and white, all or nothing, where they're either winning or losing. So you have to lose, so that they can feel like they're winning. They have to feel like they have gained some sort of advantage over you. They can never treat you as an equal, even though you may be bringing much more to the table than what they're giving to you. They have to feel like they're conquering you. And if they don't feel that way, then they will feel like you're overpowering them because this is how they think. They have a black or white all or nothing mentality. And if they feel like they have dominated you, then they can walk away comfortably. But if you ask them this question, it really makes them think because narcissists do not want to reveal their true intentions and motives. They do not want you to know that they're getting more than what they deserve. They don't want you to know that they're having a field day with you, so they will keep it secret. Because they want you to think that they're trying to work with you. They want you to think that there isn't really anything in it for them, or that it doesn't really do anything for them. So if you ask them how it benefits them, it could make them really angry. And they may state that it's not about them. They may state that it's about the children or it's about something you did. They will never accept that it is their own inability to fulfill their own personal needs. They will say that it's all about you. They will project their insecurities onto you. They will call you selfish because while they will take as much as they can get from you, they're not going to explicitly reveal that they need what they're taking from you. They're not going to express it to you in a clear and detailed manner where it leaves no room for confusion or doubt because deep down they know they don't deserve anything from you. 
they know they do not show actions or qualities worthy of what they're receiving from you. They may prance around and act like they're the best thing since sliced bread, but beneath their delusions of grandeur they know they're not deserving. They know they do not deserve praise or support. Which is why when you challenge them on it, it shatters their delusions. It bursts their bubble. It reveals that their fantastical ideas are unreasonable and impractical because you're challenging them with practical or logical considerations or facts. When normally they are operating with a false character and they live in a fantasy world. So as a defense mechanism and to uphold their grandiose fantasies, they will deflect it onto you. They will angrily question how it benefits you. And this is why they're always so angry and frustrated because they know that while you actually work to earn the things that you have, they just expect everything to fall into their lap without them having to do anything. Which is why when you really challenge them on it, many of them will back down. Many of them will withdraw from you. Or they will rage at you. But what they won't do is actually try to answer the question or even admit that they will benefit by something from you. They will act like it's not a big deal. And then they will get angry if they don't get what they want. But they will never explicitly express how it benefits them, what it does for them, or how it makes them feel. So if you push them for a response, it will cause a narcissistic collapse because it prompts them to reveal their motives. It will shock them and it will cause them to become defensive, which means that you have shifted the balance of power because now they're viewing you differently. Since you're reminded them of their shortcomings and unreasonable needs by encouraging them to think their advances more deeply and to judge themselves before they try to find fault with you. Because normally when they're doing this, they're in another world. They live in a fantasy. And beneath their delusions of grandeur is a truly dark motive, which is based on their own negative feelings and urges. Their motives are never innocent, kind, thoughtful or loving. They're always ruthlessly exploitative and self-serving. It's just always all about them and never about you. And that's how once you've been with them for a certain amount of time, you become almost unrecognizable from the person who you once used to be. Because you've turned your personality inside out and sacrificed everything in an effort to please them. While they're just sitting back because they feel entitled to what they're getting from you without doing anything in return to earn it. Because they have these dark intentions of using you to their advantage and deriving benefit from you and making your life difficult just for their own personal amusement because when they're doing this they're not thinking about the future and they're not thinking about who they're hurting all they care about is how they're feeling so if you rejected them or if you bruise their ego they will try to destroy you because they have this primitive brutal desire for payback so they will try to get revenge on you because you've hurt their ego or because you've caused them to feel shame they feel rejected and rejection breeds obsession because their arrogance and failure to accept rejection leads them to behave obsessively their fear of abandonment causes them to be blinded by pride a need to control and dominate because they cannot make sense of the rejection it consumes them but they're never going to tell you this they're never going to reveal to you that they have a problem with themselves which is why if you ask them how it benefits them they're not going to give you a straightforward answer they're not going to tell you how it benefits them and instead it's going to trigger their narcissistic rage but that doesn't always mean that they're going to yell and scream. 
because some of them are passive aggressive so they may abuse you in silence but if you put them on the spot in this difficult situation which they cannot avoid where you ask them this particular question it may cause them to become more overt because they're not expecting it and narcissists do not function well if they're not able to micromanage everything everything has to be under their complete control in order for them to feel comfortable so even if everything is exactly how they would like it to be and then you challenge them with this one question it will overpower them because they cannot deal with anything straightforward up front or direct they can only function in their fantasy world or if they know what's coming so that they can manipulate it ahead of time back to their realm but they cannot come outside of their world to deal with anything practical or reasonable in reality it has to be under their conditions it has to be under their terms because that's how they've managed to get by throughout their entire lives by manipulating people and getting them to fall for the illusion which is why they have to keep the benefits of what they're getting inside because that's how they maintain power and control so if you ask them this one question they won't give you a straightforward answer they will deflect rage or withdraw they will tell you it has nothing to do with you as though that's their private lives they will make it about the children they will ask how it benefits you or they will criticize or shame you for asking the question which will reveal their true character it will reveal what you're actually dealing with which is why you do need to be very careful because when you ask them this question it will trigger a narcissist to collapse which will shatter their false image and if they feel like you've exposed them in front of other people it could put you in danger so use the sermon and good judgment when you are asking this question because it exposes them it reveals their true intentions so some of them could become dangerous and they may lash out at you for exposing them because they don't want people to know who they are which is how they really put themselves at a disadvantage by cheating and deceiving people it puts you in a position of power so even your presence may be a trigger to them because they know that you know the truth about them so you can hurt them more than they can hurt you because their false image is very important to them which is why they hide their true intentions because they want to protect the false image but if you ask them this question publicly it exposes them and it may cause people to turn on them because then people start to see them for who they really are which could ruin their social lives it could ruin their relationships with all of the people they usually get supply from it could ruin their image of reputation which could cause them to become very dangerous because then they may feel like they have nothing to live for so at that point they may feel like they have nothing to lose thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share your thoughts in the comment section hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications if you would like to support the channel you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website it's narcsurvivor.co.uk thank you for watching and i'll talk to you soon